in this video we are going to discuss about jsp directive elements jsp directive elements instructs the web container or web server regarding how to translate a jsp page into the servlet page we know that it is the responsibility of web server or web container to execute any server side application such as servlet and jsp so whenever we have written uh, a jsp application so after that uh, we need to start the server so whenever we start the server uh, first the translator the translator translates jsp page into the servlet page so for the translation jsp directive elements pro instructs the web container instruct the web server regarding how to translate a jsp page into the servlet here mainly there are three types of jsp directive elements are there first one is page directive second one is include directive third one is tag lib directive let us see the syntax here any directive starts with less than percentage at the rate symbol and ends with percentage greater than symbol uh, in between we have to use an element called directive so directive is nothing but it may be page directive or include directive or tag lib directive next attribute every directive contains an attribute the attribute is equal to within the double quotations value and it ends with percentage greater than so this is the syntax here the syntax here is any directive starts with less than percentage at the rate symbol and ends with percentage greater than symbol in between we have to use directive next attribute is equal to that value should be placed in within the double quotations now let us see about these three directives one by one the first one is page directive page directive is mainly useful in order to import a java package in our jsp program so we know that any directive starts with less than percentage at the rate ends with percentage greater than here the directive is page and for the page directive the the attribute here is import we are importing a java package in the current program in the current jsp program so attribute is import is equal to attribute value is that package name java dot sql dot star within the double quotations this is the value java dot sql dot star so that we can use java dot sql package corresponding classes and interfaces in our program let us assume that we want to import io package then we can write as uh, within the double quotations java dot io dot star if we want to import util package then we can write as within the double quotations java dot util dot star double quotations okay so this is about page directive let us see about include directive include directive is mainly useful to include the content of html page or jsp page in our program so less than percentage at the rate and it ends with percentage greater than here the name of the directive is include attribute is file so for include directive what is the attribute file is equal to student.html so that student.html content will be displayed in our program uh, let we have uh, let the student page contains information like this student number name and some submit button so this page will be displayed here instead of html page we can also use jsp page also student.jsp so the content of jsp page the content of student.jsp page will be displayed in our program so include directive is mainly useful in order to include the content of any page it may be html page or jsp page in our program let us see about the next one tag lib here tag lib it means jstl jstl stands for j stands for jsp stl stands for standard tag library we know what is a tag library tag library means a collection of user defined tags so if we want to import user defined tags then we use tag lib directive okay jstl means jsp standard tag library tag library means a collection of user defined tags so if you want to import all those user defined tags 
when we have to use tag lib directory. Let us see the syntax here. It starts with less than percentage at the rate and ends with percentage greater than. Tag lib is the directive name. And here we are using two attributes. The first attribute is prefix. The second attribute is URI. Prefix is equal to, we know about prefix. Prefix means starting value. Let the prefix means some student. STU colon uh, some roll number. So STU colon some name. So this is nothing but prefix. This is nothing but prefix. Prefix of the ta tag library and URI is equal to within the double quotations URI of the tag library. URI stands for Uniform Resource Identifier. It is just like URL, uh, Uniform Resource Location. It specifies uh, where the tag library is stored. We have to specify the tag library location. So that is nothing but URI. URI is equal to within the double quotations. We need to specify the location of the tag library. So this is about JSP directive elements.